let us observe the formation of image through concave mirror concave mirror gives real image <coughs> now in this setup this is the concave mirror which i have taken and the focal length of this concave mirror is 15 centimeters this is the source of light which is acting like object for me and i just wanted to obtain the image on the screen if you are able to obtain the image on the screen then we call it as real image now let us see as i know the focal length of the concave mirror as 15 centimeters so i kept at 30 centimeters so that we are able to obtain at the same distance from the uh, mirror remember the notation we follow is the distance between the mirror and the object is lettered as u and then the distance between the mirror and image is called v in the mirrors the real images are always obtained on the same side of the objects so now this is my object here which is resembling an english t now if you see this image it is just in the reverse inverted so here as it is obtained on the screen it is as it is obtained on the screen it is uh, real image and then it is inverted and if you observe the size of the image so this here if you measure this length so whatever the length of this one roughly it is 6 centimeters the same is the case here that means here the magnification is 1 now suppose if I move this uh, object remember here the source of light itself is object for me so now I kept it 30 now let me move it closer to the mirror then to obtain the image I have to move this back so now you see that it is real and enlarged in the previous case the size of the object and size of the image was same now here if you obtain if you see this size of it is much more bigger than this you can compare these two this object size of the object and size of the image that means if the object is kept in between f and c the image is obtained beyond c it is also real and then that means it can be obtained on the screen and then it is enlarged and inverted now if, if i do the reverse of it that means if i keep the object beyond see then now you see that the image has become blur now i have to move this towards the object now you can see that the size of the object is bigger whereas size of the image is lesser than that of object that means a diminished image is obtained what if if I keep exactly at focus so we know that the focus of this is 15 centimeters so suppose if I keep exactly at 15 centimeters then the image is obtained very far off you can catch this image here very enlarged real inverted so if you observe the distance between the two dots here it is very less whereas if you observe the distance between the two dots here it is very large therefore an enlarged image is obtained actually when the object is kept at the focus 
the image is obtained at the infinity. How do we justify that it is infinity? Because the focal length of the mirror is in centimeters, whereas the distance that we have obtained the image is in meters. Therefore, we can say when the object is kept at focus of the mirror, the image is falling far behind the object. On the same side, real, enlarged and inverted. So this is all about the formation of image through the concave mirror which gives the real images whereas the convex mirror will not give the real images it only forms the virtual images and when you look at yourself in the plane mirror that also gives only the virtual image remember real image can be obtained on the screen or if you place your eye at the particular position you can see that also Real images can be seen as well as can be obtained on the screen. But virtual images can be seen only but cannot be obtained on the screen.